My son got hit on the football field and went down. He didn't move for a few seconds. I've never been so scared in my life. When my five-year-old nephew fell out of that tree, I didn't think anything of it. He seemed fine at first, but then he fell asleep in my arms 15 minutes later. Our granddaughter was in a car accident. She didn't lose consciousness, but was emotional, nauseous, and dizzy for a while. It was weeks before she seemed like herself. When my daughter started complaining of headaches and blurred vision, I wasn't sure what to think. She's played soccer for years. These are the voices of adults who care about children who have suffered a mild traumatic brain injury. Known as a concussion, this injury is common and can happen in a variety of ways, including a bump or jolt to the head. Most concussions do not cause significant problems, and many people usually recover on their own quickly and completely. Here are a few important things for families to know about concussions in children. Unconsciousness is serious. If a child loses consciousness for any amount of time, it is important to seek medical attention, even if he or she looks okay soon after the injury. Pay attention to how long the child was unconscious and what he or she acted like in the time afterward so you can report to the medical team. Look at the child's eyes. After a blow to the head, especially if there was any loss of consciousness, it's important to look at a child's pupils. Pupils are the dark center of the eye. Call 911 or seek emergency medical attention if the pupils are wide open so that the colored part of the eye looks mostly black if they don't get smaller in the light or if one of the pupils is larger than the other. Lasting symptoms need medical attention. It's pretty common for someone to have a headache after a head injury. People can also have other symptoms like nausea or vomiting, dizziness, confusion, trouble concentrating, or feeling really emotional. These symptoms usually get better in the day after the injury. If they don't, seek medical attention for your child right away. Minimize the chance for another injury. Any child who experiences a concussion should avoid the possibility of any other blow to the head in the weeks following the injury. Repeated head trauma is very dangerous and is called second impact syndrome. All youth sports teams should have a documented concussion protocol. After any head injury, follow the protocol exactly with guidance from the trainer and a medical professional. It might save your athlete's life. Take time to heal. The brain is like any other part of the body. After injury, it needs time to rest and heal. For serious injuries, many people need to avoid bright lights or loud sounds. Give the brain a break from reading, writing, computer work, even TV. This might take a while and it is important to work with a medical professional to monitor symptoms. Concussions are a common part of being a kid. It is important to know when a bump on the head needs medical attention. The more you know, the more you can assure a healthy, active future for the children in your life.